Hello and welcome back to another episode of Mitsubishi Master. I'm Tim Heider, uh, Product Marketing Manager for Solutions. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to be looking at the IQF PLC. Um, in this example, we have the FX5UC and the FX5U, so basically the standard model and then the C for the compact model. Um, and with that, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. Get your standard paperwork. And here is the PLC. And we'll take a look at the compact version, which is basically the same programming capabilities, only in a compact form. So <clears throat> if you were migrating from a previous FX3 series and you wanted to maintain your bolt pattern, you could upgrade to an FX5. If you didn't have that and you wanted to just minimize panel space, maybe you wanted to change from the, the bolt screw terminal to the push type, this would be an option for you. In both cases, we have an ethernet port. We also can open up the side door. We can see an SD card slot. We can open up this door here and see the SD card slot. Um, quite a bit of capability on these. Also have some analog uh, inputs built in, uh, some serial connections built in, and some serial connections built in here. With that, let's go ahead and get everything wired and we'll show you a little bit of programming. And just like that, we have wired up 110 volts and we have an ethernet cable. So let's jump on over to the software. Software that we'll be using today is GXWorks 3. Uh, previous generations of software, if you had any Mitsubishi experience, you might have played with GX Developer uh, for the old A series or GXWorks 2 for the Q series. Uh, but now we're on GXWorks 3 and that's going to handle our IQF or FX5 uh, as well as our IQR flagship products or the R series. So anyway, let's open up GXWorks 3. So again, we'll open up GXWorks 3 and we'll start a new project. We'll call it an FX. We're going to use the series type FX5, the type FX5U. Uh, we have U, UJ, and S. So whether we're using the U or the UC, we want to select U. Um, for the, the type of programming language, we can choose one or we can just leave it blank. In this case, uh, for this example, we'll just choose ladder and we'll talk about the other programming languages later. At any time, we can mix and max, match those programming languages too. So we can create function blocks in ladder and use them in structured text or vice versa. It's asking us uh, when it adds the module, when it adds the PLC to the program, do we want to use module labels? And right now we're not going to use labels. We're just going to use the use memory devices. Um, later on, we'll show how to use the labels. Uh, so we'll just click OK on here. Um, and here again, we can just click OK. Now, uh, you'll see a basic rung. Um, so we want to modify this rung. We need to make sure we're in the right mode. So we have write mode, read mode, write with monitor, or read with monitor. In this case, we're just going to do some write. Um, it's convenient to know the shortcuts for Mitsubishi. So shift insert, we'll add a line. Uh, we can do F5 to add a normally open contact. So let's use an M0. M's are internal uh, uh, Boolean memory locations inside of the PLC. Um, so we're just going to trigger this on and off and then maybe send that to a Y zero output. So in the Mitsubishi world, X's are real world inputs and Y's are real world outputs. So that would be a physical um, input or output wired to the PLC or sent across a network to the PLC. Uh, in this case, I accidentally made it a contact, so I can click enter and I can either change it here uh, or I can hit F7, which is a coil. So now we have normally open contact and we have our coil. Uh, we can also add comments to this. So we have three types of comments. We can do uh, a device comment. So if I click on this little icon here uh, and then double click on the M, I can say um, user trigger. And then if I go to the Y, I can say real output. So those are device comments. 
So I can also comment the statement. So the middle icon here, and then when I double click inside of this M0, it's gonna be the whole line statement. Um, so I can say, uh, turning on M0 will turn on Y0. And one of the nice things about GXWorks tree now is I can actually display this in the navigation tree. So I can select display in tree, select OK. And now not only do I have my line statement, I also can see it in the tree here. So that could be a quick reference point when I'm looking at my ladder logic in the tree to quickly go back to that line. And the last type of comment is a note comment. So I can click on note, double click the Y0, and this is an output. And those are my comments. At any given time, I can compile this code so I can hit F4. If I didn't know to hit F4, I can come up to convert and I can see my options. So I can convert with F4. I can do an online program change, so convert and then online write. Or I can do a rebuild also, not just the program I'm working within, rebuild the entire project. And there's advantages to all of those. And that concludes uh, the video. Thanks again for watching another episode of Mitsubishi Electric Automation Mastered, where we show how quick and easy it is to become a master of Mitsubishi Electric Industrial Controls. Thanks and have a great day.